Hello everybody, today's math warm-up is an estimistory, where estimation meets math mysteries. The topic today is countdown. For this activity, you're going to be needing a pencil and a piece of paper or just something to write with and something to write on because you're going to be writing down your estimates and changing it as you go. So crossing it out and, and writing your new estimate. These activities come to us from Steve Wyberney and his website. So we thank him for these activities. It has a lot of really cool stuff. So let's get started. How many dominoes are in this glass? Just kind of think about that. As the clues appear, there's going to be some clues. Use the information to narrow the possibilities to a smaller set. And after each clue, use estimation again to determine which of the reasonable which of the remaining answers is the most reasonable. Write down your first estimate now. And then after each clue, you'll see if your estimate is still a possibility. After each clue, if it is no longer possible, write down a new estimate and be prepared to explain why you chose it. So go ahead and write down your first estimate and let's get started. Clue number one. The answer does not include the digits nine or eight. So if yours has a nine or an eight, you're going to want to adjust your answer. Clue number two, the answer does not include the digits seven or six. So there's no nine, there's no eight, there's no seven, and there's no six. The answer does not include the digits five or four. Oh my goodness, so think about that. What digits are left? It said no nines, eights, sevens, sixes, fives, or fours. What digits are left as options? And what reasonable estimate can you make using those digits? The digits in the answer are unique. No digit in the answer appears more than once. So that means that things like 33 or 22 can't happen because we have because each digit can only appear one time. And clue number five, the answer does not include the digit two. There is no two in our number. So what digits are left? And you have to keep in mind that none of them repeat. And think about what's reasonable for the number of dominoes in that glass. Pause if you need to, to, to um, change your answer. You ready? After seeing the clues, you have narrowed the possibilities to a small set of numbers. Before you see the answer, select your final estimate. Write it down and explain to someone why you chose that number. So, bef so before you move on to the answer, I want you to pause the video and share your work with your teacher. Either take a picture and email it to her or maybe record a little video of yourself explaining your answer. But share your estimate with your teacher. Okay, we back. Let's see the answer. And it is 103 dominoes. I hope you enjoyed the activity and let's keep on going with our math today. Have a great day, tigers.